Hey everybody, Chad here. We have the flower bed on um, the bird feeder side, I call it. Got some drift roses. These are sweet drift rose, uh, lovely pink color. They bloom in clusters, uh, very pretty. We've got some elsewhere, so we've got, um, I think 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's 10. And um, we're gonna put these right here on the edge. Still leave enough room so they're not right up against the wall. Maybe we could put something right there that'll trail over the wall until these get big enough and then they could possibly trail over as well. For uh, this, I just dig a hole and use rose tome. Just sprinkle a handful or so down in the hole. If I run out of that, because I don't have a whole lot, we also have some miracle Grow Shake and Feed Rose Bloom, which um, should work pretty much the same way, just to kind of give them a little uh, boost as they go down in the ground. And up in this high part here, I'm not even gonna worry about where we have the uh, weed barrier down at the very bottom, because I don't think these roots will ever get down there because these roses are pretty compact and it's several feet down to the bottom. As I go that way, I'm gonna check and make sure, and I may have to cut that weed barrier open just so those roots will be able to continue going down. But um, then we're gonna do the butterfly bushes here. That's what's in the pots, and I'm thinking I'm gonna put those in the ground as well, try those out in the ground. If anything happens to them, then I'll just get some more and we'll put them back in a pot. But uh, I think that they should be fine in the ground. And I uh, hope I didn't get Gus pooping just now. That would be embarrassing. Um, but anyways, actually, he's been eating a lot of grass today, I've noticed, so uh, he could be about to clear his tummy. That'd be nasty, too. I'll get that out of there. Yep, he sure did. All right, good thing you guys missed that. Anyways, so we got the butterfly bushes. Try to put those in the ground the next few days as well and trim them back quite a bit. You're supposed to trim those pretty, pretty good um, down to about, I think, 18 inches or so, and that'll help with uh, lots and lots of blooms. And then last but not least, uh, we went ahead and bought some of these. Let me see, I forget what these are called off the top of my head. They're evergreens. They got a nice yellow tint to them. These are whatever that big words are. I haven't taken botany in many, many years. But anyway, golden mop is what these are. So putting these sort of towards the front here and then something a little bigger in the back. And we also got some white wedding hydrangeas, which right now they're just sticks. So we're gonna plant those right here and right there. And then we'll put something in the middle, having 100% decided on that, um, we'll, we'll see. But starting, starting to put all this together, the roses should be good to go into the ground now. We have a few more cold nights, possibly. Um, nothing right now in the next week or two that is supposed to be below freezing. It's supposed to be right above freezing at night and they, these roses are really hardy. They, they won't care about that at all. So anyway, get that going.
Just real quick to show you what I'm doing here, um, kind of give you an overview. I've been packing this down because it's kind of loose just to make sure. I dig it back up, just making sure it's packed down as far as I can. I'm getting close to where I'm gonna wanna start checking for that weed barrier all the way on the ground level, the original ground level. But um, I think I'm still high enough with this one. And so I'll show you what I've been doing. And I'm gonna dig a hole first. And I'm gonna put down the fertilizer, kind of wipe that in so the bottom part of it, when I'm uh, putting the roots down, they're right there um, with it mixed into the regular dirt here. And that'll give them just a little boost as we're watering it and those roots are reaching down into that. They really don't need a whole lot before their first flush. As far as fertilizer goes, you usually fertilize them after they're finished flowering the first time. And it's a lot easier digging these in this raised bed than back in the day when I did this in rocky clay dirt. Not fun at all. So in this one, I can actually see the weed barrier. So I'm actually gonna uh, go inside and get something to cut that open with so it's just a big hole. And I would give the roots plenty of space to grow as they go down. So I'm actually down farther than I need to go right now. I might have to add more dirt, but I, I just dug down a little extra to see where that root, um, that fabric was. And so I'm gonna cut that just completely out. Got some box cutters and it cuts really, really easy. I don't like weed barrier, I don't think. Um, it's just it's so wet down there from where it's holding that water right up under it. Um, kind of supposed to be where it levels the water out, kind of evenly disperses it, which is true. It's just nasty mud down there, so. But now the roots have somewhere they can go if they go down that far. Drift roses, I don't know. They don't get very big. This stuff, I just kind of sprinkle it in till it's kind of on the bottom and then you mix it in with the dirt that's already in there. You don't want to just sit the roots right on top of it. You just want to mix it in. A lot of these are root bound. You'll see me kind of breaking these up um, right before I put them in. I don't break them up like I have in the past where I almost get rid of half the dirt, just sit all in there real soft. Just break it up a little bit smush on the sides, pull it out, just like any other plant. Roses are people too. Oh, you see, look at that, that's bound. It's been sitting there since last year. These things are gonna be so happy to get out of these containers. of root bound stuff so I'm just gonna take my fingers and just kind of pull them out and always forget I forget this sometimes rearrange it how you want to I see a strong one coming this way and a big cane and a big cane right here coming out so it's kind of covered in all directions I want it to go this way and that way mostly so I put these two canes facing out that one go in that direction. I hate it when I get down there, put it in, get it planted, and look at it and go, man, it's sort of facing a little bit the wrong direction. Here 
I'm just pushing down on the sides, stomping it in there a little bit with my hands. And that's pretty much it. After we're done, we'll water everything in really good, um, give it a good soaking, and then we should be good to go. just finished uh, planting the roses just gave them a good watering as well so uh, hopefully everything is gonna be good to go I'll water them for the next few days and then they should be um, pretty good on their own especially uh, if we're getting pretty good rain uh, once we get everything set up I'm hoping we have enough water pressure we had to change that the other day due to an issue so I'm hoping we have enough water pressure to hook up my watering system like I have in the front and so that way everything will be watered on a timer and all the roses will be completely pretty much making this free as far as watering goes and then uh, we'll start with the next phase after this but everything uh, so far so good uh, if you guys enjoyed this video do remember to like it and hit the subscribe button so you'll know when we post some more videos thanks have a great day